Score table, are you ready? Score table, are you ready? Score, score right. table is in fact ready. Score Maryland right. on the left in white, RPI on the right in black and red and white. RPI, Maryland ready? starts with Quaffle, RPI starts with Blood Control. Maryland, are you ready? You will be white and black, respectively. <laughs> no one ever asks if the videographer is ready, but no. I'm used to that. We are, though. Room down! Ready! Room's up! And that is Alex Amidal with the Brims Up call. Maryland coming out with some speed from Aaron Roth that beat her. Quaffle way behind. Uh, missed beat there from Roth. Tries to bother Patch. Patch is having none of it. Jenner at the far side. Cross pitch pass to uh, Jarrett Knipple. Over to Randall. And Randall hits a shot for Maryland to go up a quick 10 zip. Heather Farnan is wrestling a bludger away from Jessica Batia. Takes it. So Maryland not only gets a goal, but gets bludger control as well. And then to add insult to injury, Aaron Roth. A missed beat on Ellie Lee Zek makes Jessica Batia go chase that third bludger. Yeah. Very impressive. Maryland was able to score while RPI had bludger control and then immediately get bludger control after the goal. Yeah. Great play there. So good speed over to Lee Zek. Over to Davis. Back to good speed on the far left side. Back to Lizek and back to good speed. Generet out on defense. Lizek gets beat by Farnan. Ball goes out of bounds. And great beat there from Farnan. I think Lizek might have been able to get there before the ball went out of bounds. Instead, it's a TJ Generet inbound. And Maryland maintains control and gets a stop. So, Kate London from Maryland, I believe, was injured in the Harvard game and is just going to be playing defense in this game. So, Maryland is essentially down a player on offense every possession this whole game. Um, and Heather Farnan and Aaron Roth are the only beaters here today for Maryland. So, they are also not going up on offense, which is going to make Randall Generates and Knipple's life very hard uh, today. RPI with the stop there on an errant pass. Yeah. And as a result of their depleted roster, once they get to set score, having to actually score seven more goals is going to be difficult for them. It is, especially in a team like this, not a ton of subs. You also don't want to be fast breaking too much. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Lizek over to the left to Davis. Lizek then gets beat. Davis reset to nobody. That should be a turnover, and it is. Reset to no one. So this Maryland defense, though, is very Relentless. aggressive. And, yeah. and so far, two for two on these good stops. Yeah. Knipple did chase that quaffle, um, so he gets it far back with just Lizek to beat. And he goes to the middle hoop to dunk and take a 2-0 lead. Roth beats out Patch to bail out Heather Farnan, and Maryland maintains control. Seems like Maryland's strategy is try to get as many points as possible before pitch on pitch. Try to have a very comfortable lead uh, since things will slow down a bit for them as the game progresses, but Doom's pretty good so far. For sure. I'm, I'm interested to see if RPI doesn't just try to pick up the pace of the game to run this short Maryland roster into the ground as much as they can. Yeah. Good speed has Trumple on his left, Luzak on his right in this classic RPI side rotation. And then an air pass to Chumple goes out, and Maryland is three for three on stops. Roth can't get control, but Farnan does. So these Maryland beaters, they're not doing much on offense, but when they are on defense, they are not giving up control. Yeah, they're applying good pressure, forcing a lot of, un uh, not unforced errors, but forcing a lot of errors from RPI. Good footwork there from Generat to not have the reset be used on that pass from Randall. Knipple on the far side. Back to Randall with a great one-handed grab, and he puts it through 3-0 Maryland. And at some point, if you're RPI, you have to think about going into a man defense here with only three Quaffle players coming up the field for Maryland. And no Peters. Yeah, Harvard had an interesting look. Maryland started off really strong against them, also putting up a lot of points. Eventually, Harvard is able to adjust on defense, so let's see if RPI can do the same thing. 
So good speed with the ball. Zek this time is going to be the one on the far left, and Chumple stays up top. Davis is behind Toops right now. Chumple with the handoff from good speed. Chumple floats a pass, throws it away, and Maryland gets another stop. These are, as you said before, I think Maryland's pressure has forced some RPI mistakes. I think RPI has also just made some unforced errors, and it's that combination that's really not only preventing them from scoring, but preventing them from getting close. Uh, yeah. Referee timeout here by Alex Amendol. I think RPI needs to take a minute, sort of, uh, I don't know if they need a timeout, but really just sort of regain their composure. They don't really have to rush things, but they do want to play a, a bit more controlled on offense. They know what Maryland is doing, uh, so there will be a timeout now. Um, yeah, like you said, there is one player on Maryland basically in the same spot on the field at all times, um, so they should be able to take advantage of that if they're cognizant of the positioning of the other players. All right, we are back to brooms up. There, that was a stoppage to make sure the field dimensions were correct. Uh, no effect on play for either side. Yeah. Knipple takes up the ball. Randall on his right, Jenneret behind. Good being there from Abatia. Good knock away from Tremple. Jenneret all alone now. Both of his teammates have been beat. And he still finishes. Yeah. I mean, you gotta take the kid down when he's by himself six on one. Yeah. Maryland trusts him a lot. I saw this a lot in the Harvard game too. They have blunder control. They keep both of their blunders behind uh, the midfield line and they just sort of trust their chasers to make something happen. And TJ able to come up away with one. After all of that contact, still finishes. So RPI looks for their first goal. Lizek drives into space, gets it over to uh, Tremple. Alex Amidal, I don't think, didn't know if it went in, looked for his refs. They all said no. Lizek recovers, though. Looked like it went through. So it's, I, I think I Maryland's so confused, too. too. Yeah. They're sort of just like, what? It is. Goal is no good. Reset is forced by Aaron Roth there. Zach passes it back to Davis. Davis over to good speed. Good speed getting pushed out by Jenner. Tries to get it to Davis. Hits the ground. Davis recovers. Glendon, good to see, has enough movement to close out to that. Gets it back to Lezak. Zach over to good speed. Has Sean Patch in front of him. Fatsi's over on the left protecting Davis. Fatsi floats left to protect Lizek. Goes to the beat on Farnan. It was no good. Lizek. Back to good speed. Good speed dodges the beat. And puts it home. So finally, RPI gets themselves on the board. It is Maryland 40, RPI 10. Maryland does hold ledger control now. Seven minutes is the game time. Maryland has had uh, Maryland has ledger control for the majority of this game. They have. I, I think RPI is uh, by the fact that Maryland isn't bringing their bludgers up on offense. RPI has so many fewer chances to try to win it back. Knipple getting wrapped by Lizek. He breaks free, gets it over to Jenneret. Jenneret gets it to Randall, and Randall puts it home. Yeah. Good passing play there for Maryland to go 50-10, and that's what I'm talking about. When you outnumber the other team's chasers like this when you're on defense, you've got to mark up on a man-to-man -to, -man to yeah. make sure that open pass is never there. Maryland's getting too many clean passes, uh, stringing them together. Good speed on the far side. Gets it back to the corner. That player there trying to beat Jenneret. Shoots, blended with the block. Can't finish, and Maryland gets the stop. That was uh, Stephen Trumple there with that missed shot. Gets it. Jenneret gets it over to Randall. He was uh, in great position there by that hoop. Yes. Doing a great job covering it. 
Maryland looks like they're going to start subbing here in a second. RPI, uh, a little bit surprised, has not had many subs so far. Jenner at here gets it to Randall, covered by Lezak. Jenner at Knipple, both free. RPI is just insistent on staying in this zone, which is not really benefiting them with Maryland playing down players. Knipple gets it in the corner. He gets it to Randall. Randall makes Davis miss and then hits a shot. 60-10 Maryland, and if you're RPI, I think you need to call a timeout at this stage. Yeah, the chaser differential here clearly in Maryland's favor. Uh, kind of cutting apart the zone piece by piece, forcing a one-on-one -on -one mismatch, and then just going and scoring. So, so finally some sucks here for RPI. Um, Jason Umquist in at keeper. He has the ball now. Jack Mosley in at feeder with no pleasure. Umquist gets it to good speed. Back to Almquist. Almquist over to, I believe that was Big Malzone, intercepted by TJ Chanarat. He's got to beat Ali Lizak. He does, gets the goal, and that makes it 70 10 Maryland. Yeah, TJ making it look a little bit too easy there. I mean, that is that is speed. Lizak is fast and took a good angle, but Chanarat just blew right past her. Yeah, converting that good defense into better offense. Yes. Be interested to see here if Almquist is a little bit of a spark plug for IPI. He certainly was in the game against Rutgers. Gets it over to Tremple, who has the fancy footwork to make sure there was no reset used. Back to good speed on the left. RPI really playing this kind of wheel play, and it's not worked out for them so far against Maryland. Tremple Ten minutes! Tries to get around the corner. Almquist can't set the pick. Makes TJ miss. Rips a shot. No good. Kat Stokel's going to protect, and Goodspeed's going to pick it up. Oh, errant pass there on the ground. Trumple can't pick it up because Farnan is right on top of him, and that is another turnover for RPI. Yeah, that was almost a super clean shot at the left tube. Unfortunate that it just barely missed. It looked like the hoop got moved a little bit by the quaffle. Yes, and I know I don't want to harp on it too much, but as a former coach, don't be afraid to use your timeouts. RPI, it's no good saving it if you're going to go down 70 or 80. Finally, beater pressure by uh, Jack Mosley, who is, is that recent sub, does get an easy turnover from Maryland. Yeah, it was a rare misstep on an offensive Maryland possession. They've pretty much been automatic yeah. in, every other, in every other drive, but... I guess RPI deciding now is the opportunity to apply a little bit more pressure. As you said before, their beaters are not really supporting them up top. 7-1. Seven. Seven, Our... Dylan Coolis now in for Ian Goodspeed. Mosley with a great catch yeah. to win control. Oh, actually, um, Goodspeed is still in the game. Coolis was in for Tremble. Ooh, a good deflection there from Maryland. Nissen is beat by Mosley. Almquist can't get the shot to go through. Randall and uh, Nissen both had arms up there. Yeah. RPF forcing Maryland to spread out a little bit more now that they have water control. Yep, Coolis over to Almquist. Back to Coolis. Over to good speed on the far side. He's protected by Stokel. Back to Coolis, who's protected by Mosley. Lezak now behind Stokel. Keeping that rotation moving is RPI. Lezak takes a shot, gets it over to Omquist. Sets a pick. Nissen gets around it. Omquist takes the corner, misses the shot. It looks like RPI was trying to attack that right hook that entire possession, but a little bit over eager there, making a shot. Certainly, I think, I think Omquist wanted the, the defense to commit to that short hoop to then use his speed to get around and hit a shot on the far one, but unfortunately for him, it was about a foot wide. Yeah. I think if RPI keeps attacking the left-hand side to f kind of force the the hoop defender there to stay on the left hoop, they should be able to get some good passes around the outside to get some goals on the right. Menino now in at keeper for Maryland. Nipple gets it over to Nissen. Over to Menino, floats it. That's out of bounds. It's going to be RPI ball. We got control, baby. This is big for Maryland now. They have a big lead, but 
Randall Knipple and Jenneret, the magic trio who kept scoring down a player, are all off the field right now. And this is Maryland's short depth getting tested. Yeah, that last play a little bit rushed. There was a beater on RPI able to read that last pass. I wonder if RPI is going to be able to convert that defense into yeah. offense now. That right hoop still pretty exposed. Yeah. Lizek setting the pick on Jamil, and it yeah. works. And rips it through, yeah. Um, apology, that was Nick Malzone, I believe, is able to get around the corner um, after Lizek sets the, the pick on Jamil and um, RPI is able to get their second goal of the day. Yeah, you could tell Malzone was looking for that right hoop. The left and middle one were absolutely covered, so only one option left and he took it. I love the confidence to make that shot from that range. For sure. So it is now 70-20, Maryland lead. Lizette coming way up the field. Farnan and Roth without control, now up on offense because they got to try to win it back. Nissen over to Menino. Menino goes right. Nissen goes further right as well. Menino drives, gets it to Jamil. Jamil gets beat, gets it to Nissen. Great play, but it's, it's beat before. So it's not going to be a goal, and it's another stop from RPI, although they did lose control during that exchange. Yeah. Um, and we'll see if Mosley's able to win it back as quickly as he was when he first subbed into this game. Yeah, that last pass was not quick enough for Maryland, but in that confusion, Maryland comes back with budget control, and they look to reset back to what was working before. Oh, nice, nice dodge there from RPI, trying to drive it. <laughs> Great finish for Nick Malzone, but it's called no good. No idea why. Oh, well, that one was good. <laughs> finishes the play. Yeah. No give up from RPI. They play to the whistle. And Absolutely. They've also managed to win control back, which is forcing Maryland's beaters to really start running and playing offense, which is yeah. going to tire them out as this game goes on. Randall back in at keeper for Maryland after two quick goals for RPI. It seems like what's going to be key for RPI is if they're, if they're able to win control back, they should be able to get a goal, which they've done the last two possessions. Maryland also really good at getting control back, so let's see what happens now. Nissen rotating around behind. Jamil, pass too low, intercepted by RPI. They look to run. Malzone finishes through contact. And RPI is clawing their way back into this game while Knipple and Generate are not on the field. I got really lost there. There was, there was some bludgers on the ground. I was like, oh my. So Knipple and Generate are back into the game. For Maryland as they try to stop this little RPI run. Yeah. They still have a lead, so going into Snitch on Pitch, they should feel a little bit comfortable. 70-40 is the score. RPI is up. Randall over to Jenneret. <laughs> Jenneret makes Alquist miss. Randall with a crazy one-handed catch. I know he has those receiver gloves on, but still. Knipple with the extra effort gets beat. 16-30 has a left! 16-30 is the time here. Alquist keeps it slow for RPI. Down three goals. Over left! Over left! 16-30 has a left! Danny D. Tomasso is subbed in at feeder for RPI along with Jack Mosley. Claire Olmstead over to Nick Malzone. Oh, here comes the tackle. Great knockdown there from Jenneret. Ball goes out of bounds. That's going to be RPI ball. Olmstead gets beat. And a tough break there for RPI as Nick Malzone tries to reset it to tries to inbound it to Alquist as Alquist gets to be. And Farnan and Roth really just cleaning that defense up for Maryland. You can tell they have uh, pretty good experience between the two of them working very well together to get Blood Control back. Certainly, and now that they okay. are back Don't to control, they are no longer going up the field on offense. Yeah, they're... Generat getting a little bit pressured by Di Tommaso. Alquist closes that to Knipple, good wrap. Di Tommaso misses a beat. Pass back to Generat is unsuccessful, so that is going to be a reset used. Oh, Di Tommaso actually didn't get the beat off on Knipple. Mosley now with the RPI's lone bludger in his hands. Quaffle goes over to Randall. Olmstead there on defense. 
Can they pull up the ball? Over to Jenneret. Jenneret tried to float one. Randall gets it on the bounce and puts it through. Not sure if Jenneret was floating it or if he thinks the future is now when it comes to bounce passes. <laughs> but it is a good connection. Yeah. And uh, that's Maryland's first goal in a while. We did just get a strong gust of wind, so maybe he just was <laughs> caught off guard a little bit there. But it ends up in a goal, so I'm sure he's happy about that. I think he's pretty much scored or assisted on almost every play so far. Yep, so that makes the score 80 40 Maryland in the lead. Jenneret wrapping up Malzone. He gets beat by Bosley. Over to Davis. Coolis is going around behind. Back up to Malzone. Looks that far side. Back to Davis on the near side. Over to Malzone. 19 minutes is game time. Malzone rips a shot and just held on to it for too long. It goes right into the ground. And that is another, I would say, unforced error from RPI to get Maryland to stop. Yeah, Maryland with player control is sitting back at their hoops. It's it's tough to want to drive in and see two uh, beaters right in front of you. But yeah, those shots need to be a little bit more uh, controlled. 1930. Um, so TJ Jenneret has quote unquote subbed out of this game. Um, Probably going to go in at Seeker. Because he yeah. is going to go in at Seeker, but uh, Maryland plays a person down at Seeker because they only have um, two women here today. So Glendon is actually up on offense for this place. Maryland still has three qualified players up, but Jenneret is setting himself out. So at 20 minutes, they do not incur a penalty uh, once Snitch comes out. Yeah. Knipple. Nice. Over to Randall. Randall drives, rips a shot, no good. Out the back. Uh, that is RPI ball and the 20 minute mark. Yeah. So we'll take a pause here. Uh, you know who will know is he is not at the bench. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, so we have. Do you know the snitch's name? RPI inbound to start this snitch on pitch period. Uh, Jenneret is going to be seeking for Maryland Trumbull for RPI as RPI goes to make some quick subs. Ojo rocking the Nasta jersey in at Chaser and that's just a Batia in at uh, Peter for RPI. Yeah, a catch here would be a huge... Uh, that's Davis with the ball for RPI, gets it over to Olmstead. Trumple with an immediate catch but drop of the sock. Ojo has the ball, he's going back to the corner, gets it to Olmstead, who's beat by Roth. Coolis picks it up, gets it to Davis. Davis over to Coolis. Back to Davis. He gets beat from two directions. Knipple picks it up, looks to run. RPI's beaters are on the snitch. He's got to beat Coolis. Gives it to Randall. Another great one-handed grab. Back to Knipple, who gets the goal. Yeah. I don't know if it's natural talent or if it's these receiver gloves or some combination, but Brendan Randall has been making some wild one-handed catches in this game. Big hands, good hands. RPI has had two grabs called no good after dropping the tail. Yeah. Davis with a quick goal um, running through Maryland's defense. Wasn't really paying attention. Um, RPI has both beaters on the snitch. Aaron Roth is on the snitch for Maryland while Heather Farnan is remaining on defense in the quaffle game. Yeah. TJ with his first uh, clean look at the yeah. snitch. Heather now over into the seeker game at beater. Giving TJ some time. He makes Ooh. a catch. Uh, it was over the back. I think it will be okay, but it was over the back, so we'll see um, what the call is here. The snitch was wrapped potentially by the other hand. Potentially, he definitely switched hands. I don't think he impeded the snitch's movement. Yeah. Um, tough to tell from this far away, though. Yeah. Maryland goal! Uh, Maryland catch is good! Yeah, so That's TJ's good. catch is good. Yeah. So that is huge for Maryland. They definitely... 125! 50, 60? Should be 50, 50. Score is Maryland 125, RPI 50, set score... 150. 150. Yeah, so... Maryland three needing three goals. Yeah, Maryland so this is huge for them. Yeah. 210 from RPI. Mm. 
but also effectively equalizes the disadvantage they had playing a player down. Now that the Seekers are out, they should be able to get TJ back yeah. in. So TJ is going to take a second to breathe, and Arthur Missy comes in from Maryland. He's going up the right side. Randall drives on the left. Gets wrapped by Davis, comes off Broom. He passes after the off Broom. I'm not sure what the call is going to be here. Um, Missing missed a shot. Coolis knocked it down and RPI ended up with the quaffle into yeah. Davis's hand in the keeper zone. That shot looked a little bit rushed to me. Probably could have got away with drawing the beat and passing it off to uh, Knipple. Is that 34? Yes. Yeah. But uh, No call on the play. I think it's going to be no harm, no foul. And RPI gets the stop. Davis to Ojo. Over to Davis. Davis dodges a beat, has Mason driving to the hoop, so Joe on the far one. Gets it to Mason. She's right by Nissen. Oh, and Nissen scrum finally there. is beat by Raw. Uh, yeah, Mason finally beat by Raw. Knipple looking to run. There's no one back there. Ojo trying to make the turn. Horrible pass from Knipple to Randall. He does manage to stop it before it goes out of bounds and gets it to Nissen. Nissen gets hit high by Davis. Over to Knipple. Good block. Ooh, good deflection there from Mojo. I thought it went low, but the uh, referee was actually in my way. That was called a good goal. Wait, was it called? That looked like it went low to me. I think they were stopping it. They let them go through the hand because there was a foul, potentially for advantage. Perhaps. We'll see. Goal is no good. The ball was low. Goal was yeah. no good because it did not go through the hoop. Maryland tricked me out with their classic celebration RBI after the shot. I love it. I love that Contact. attitude. Davis is um, getting a card for launching himself at an opposing player. That's going to be a yellow card. The green headband will go to uh, Dylan Poulos. And... Maryland will have a second Nissen. chance opportunity. They will, with Nissen being awarded the quaffle here. Di Tommaso beats out Nissen. Knipple then finishes through Coolis. So Davis is back into this game, but Maryland now is only two goals away from winning this thing. Yeah. Maryland hasn't really changed up their strategy uh, so far this game. They haven't really needed to. Danny Tommaso subs out, and coming in is, I believe, no Andrew Mendoza. He's playing with Jessica Batia. Ojo with the ball, sends it right to Coolis. Over to Katrina Mason, back to Coolis. Back to Ojo, he dodges a beat, and then gets hit by Roth. Uh, beat by Roth, that is. And Randall gets ball in his zone. That's keeper ball. Yeah, a lot of traffic there at that right hoop. Uh, almost scored, but got it. Kind of yeah, got slowed that, down that, a lot. That RPI play was everything but the finish. Sean And Devin Dunk is not playing today. Okay. Just trying to help you. Okay, so I was wrong on number 25. That is not Mendoza. The ball goes to Pinipple on the far side, intercepted by Davis on the pass attempt to Randall. Davis looking to run, thinks better of it when he sees two bludgers, pulls up. Yeah, again, that, that position looked a little bit rushed again from Maryland. So, Poulos is going to keep this one slow. He's got good speed fitting in from behind him. Yeah. RPA has to be careful here. Even if they do get a goal, they can't give up a fast break opportunity. So they got to play very smart here with the angle of attack. Yep, and they're struggling to win bludger control back. Ojo gets beat behind two. Not the best play. I mean, Barnett is kind of camping that the whole time. Yeah. This and gets it to Randall. Coolis is beat, but he hurries back to defense and Maryland is not looking at it. Randall subs out for Menino. Be interested to see if Generac comes back into this game to try to finish things out. Try not to make that contact after your Nissen over to Knipple. And he makes good speed miss with a pump fake and then finishes through contact. Yeah. Did we get that redemption goal after the last possession? Huge. So 145 to 60 is the score. 
and set score 150. So Maryland is now one goal away from winning this thing. Yeah, Maryland's at match point. RPI not giving up just yet. Stokel is now for RPI in the beating game. On push the keeper over to Katrina Mason. She gets it down to uh, Ian Speed. He gets beat by Aaron Roth. And Clinton is going to fall on that. But Nino going to take it slow. I think Maryland knows they're just one goal away from winning this thing and, and they don't want to have to try this more than once. <laughs> Absolutely. I wonder if they're going to bring up two of their uh, players now. Or are they going to keep them back still? They're so used yeah, to nope, scoring. They're just, they're just still bringing the three players. Yeah. Uh, Nissen over to Knipple. He rescues a bad pass oh. and then makes one of his own that uh. Nissen can't handle. Uh, and RPI gets a stop there. Yeah. Mason over to Almquist to take it up the field. I guess on one hand, they want to conserve their energy because they have a lot more games to play today. Uh, but at the same time, they almost were able to score even without the bludgers. So. Yeah, I mean, no better way to conserve the energy than to end the game. So, <laughs> Good speed now with the ball. He launches it. Pass. Oh, oh, the wind just Easy. curved that down. Yeah. Out of bounds in Mount Maryland. All right, That's so Nino. plus or minus. Plus out for Jamil. Plus or minus on Maryland uh, bringing their blooders up this time? I don't think they will. And they are now actually in that same set of Manito, Jamil, and Nissen that had a lot of trouble scoring when they played together earlier in this game. Yeah. So we'll see if they're able to finish it. Oh. Ojo with a great block. Yeah. And the good speed falls on it. Jamil gets beat. Maryland 24. And RPI oh, yeah, gets the stop. Yeah. Very surprised here to see that yeah. TJ is not in this game. Uh, the game is <laughs> extended longer than necessary yeah. at this point. Maryland has a lot of size, but they aren't able to capitalize on on that play. RPI looking to counterattack now. Yeah, so good speed with the ball. He's got Almquist left. He gives it to Katrina Mason in between himself and Almquist. She looks to drive left, gets it to Ojo behind the hoops. He's beat by Farnan. Almquist, I thought, yeah, Almquist was beat by Aaron Roth. Yeah, great, um, uh, great laser beat there on his ankle. Bouncing, bouncing off his own player, too. There are no chasers back. There's one budger back for RPI. Maryland choosing to play it slow. Maryland keeping it slow and not subbing any players out. They are really time. believing in this set of chasers to score yeah this is a testament to their strategy they believe it's going to work it's been working before Farnan but telling her teammates not to rush on this yeah. be a little bit more patient over to nissen oh. that pass is blocked down by good speed and he's gonna bring this up the field well, at the very least this is good practice for maryland on the three before set pieces <laughs> definitely giving some play times to some of their depth Roth with the beat on Stokel. Now Farnan looks to press. Alquist with the quaffle. Gets it to Coolis. Or good speed rather. Good speed cannot finish. Wow. That looked like that um, also. And that was that was his open a look as RPI's really had today. Yeah, that was a really clean look. Good pass to him too. Really is just signifying the lack of wow. um, finish that RPI's had in this game. Maryland. Aaron Roth now is coming up. Maryland is running a 1.5. Yeah. I guess Maryland is uh, a little bit tired of how long this game's been going. They want to end so it Roth here. So Roth is going to try to tackle Stokel, or at least take the bludger away from her. But his Popple teammates throw the ball away uh, before he's able to do anything. Yeah, a little bit desync there. They have, sort of have to wait for him to make that move first to get a little bit closer for a shot. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if you're Maryland, I think you need to go back to your three starters and just finish this thing. Yeah. Um, at this point, if you're RPI, you feel very, uh, you're very happy if Maryland keeps doing what they're doing. For sure. Although they have not figured out a way to score consistently here against this Maryland defense. Yeah. This um, Almquist with the ball now on the far side, protected by Stokel. He gets beat. He got it to good speed though. He misses a shot. Ojo tries to get there and cannot before it goes out of bounds. It's going to be Maryland ball. Take London on the inbound. Landon doing a good job on defense, sort of just always being in the right spot at the right time. For sure. All right, so... So Maryland has now lost control. Jamil tries to hit Nissen, does. His shot is low. Menino is able to pick it up. Farnan with the beat on Stokel. Hit from Almquist there on Menino. 
he gets rid of it. It just goes to no one. No one Maryland. back on Maryland. There's no one back on defense for Maryland. RPI might Ojo's have a chance to running. score. He's just got Nissen to beat. Makes him Nissen bothered him enough that Farning got the beat off. And that's the stop Maryland needed. Onquist unable to finish from the ground with that effort play. And Maryland yet again has a chance to end this thing and chooses not to sub any of their players. Do you think there's a strategy for Maryland involving someone sitting back at the hoops and cherry picking just so they can get a just so they can get the final goal to end it? This it puts it through on the pass from well, I guess, Jamil. I guess that was their answer right there. Having... And that is your ball game. Final score, 155 to 60.